So hello guys welcome back to another pre-assessment skill batch here you have to just click on start challenge and you will be redirected to the challenge lab. Now here you have to just start the challenge lab and once you complete this challenge lab you will get the entire skill badge without any issue right. So basically you have to just click on start lab and then start the lab and if you are completely new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel. Now here just open the cloud console incognito window. Now here if it asks for username and password refer to the lab instruction. Now it's signing in. The first thing is that if you get any kind of pop up you have to just click on agree and continue. And we will just first of all activate the cloud shell. Then we will create the dashboard. I will show you how you have to do. Just stay tuned and watch the video carefully. Now just click on I understand. Now just click on it to activate the cloud shell. And here basically you have to just click on continue and then authorize if you get this kind of pop up. Now in the description box of this video I have shared one github repository we will be using that only. So once the shell is ready come to the description box just find the github section click on that url and open it like this. Now just select it and paste over here. Now it will take some time. After that we have to create the VM instance. Okay. We have to sorry VM instance not dashboard. So just wait for it to get completed. From here you can click on the first URL. It will open. Now come over here and try to check the score. You can see we got the score for first and second task. For third and fourth task we have to do it manually. Now come over here. Okay. Now here you can see the matrix is here but we have just selected dashboard. So let's create it. Now from the top you can see create custom dashboard. Click on it. Now here we have to add two dashboard in line chart. One is CPU load and another is a request. Now here just select line chart. Copy the CPU load. And in the selector matrix just paste it okay just select the vm instance or you can just paste it and if it is not showing you can see oh, there is an active toggle you have to just disable it basically click on it and it will work now another add it click on request paste over here now it is not visible just click on it active tag now just find over here you have to just click on apac tab and then apply just apply both things are done now just check the score you will get the score without any issue and if you are unable to get the score wait for some time. Now time for log based matrix just right click and open incognito window. Now for the name you can write any name until the name is not mentioned on the lab instructions right. So for the name just paste this name okay carefully and then you have to just add a filter. Now here we have to update the project id. So carefully select the project ID and replace from here to here. One thing are done, create metric and that's how we completed the lab. And I will show you how you will get the batch, do not worry about it. Just check the score. You can see we got the score. Now just end the lab and click on the course option. And here you can see that we have got the batch. And that's how we completed the lab. Do like the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you guys. Have a great day.